Well, welcome back, guys. Welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. Now, I have leveled up my team quite a bit. I've leveled everyone up to level 70. Now, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before, but I leveled them up like this because in preparation for the Elite Four Round 2. Now, in the rematch against the Elite Four, their Pokemon are going to be around level, seven, level 65 all the way up to level 75. So I figure as long as my team is around level 70, that should give my guys a fighting chance. Oh yeah, let's check them out real quick. Now, I did use the last two of my, the last two remaining PP ups that I had found in from the Sevi Islands. I used one on Blast Choices or Ice Beam, so he has two more uses. And I used the other one on, on Electabuzz's Thunder, so that has two more uses as well. Oh, I also switched out Kadabra's Recover for Calm Mind. I figure since I... There's almost never a situation where Kadabra needs to heal, because more than likely, if he needs to heal, he's probably going to die in the next hit anyway. So I figure he might stand a better chance of Calm Mind. Marowak is pretty much the same, just a higher level. Same with Electabuzz. Pretty sure Arcanine's been unchanged as well. Now, Kurobat I have changed up a bit. Now, um, I originally I was going to teach him Facade, because I was under the impression that it would do double damage if the opponent was poisoned, paralyzed, or burned. But it turns out I was wrong. It's only if you are poisoned, paralyzed, or burned. So um, I kind of got rid of stealing for that, and it wasn't a very good decision on my part. It, it was a massive boo-boo, but oh well. It's no, not really a big deal. So in its stead, I have t taught Crobat Sludge Bomb over Poison Fang, and I also taught him Double Edge from the Move Turner in Victory Road. Figured Double Edge would be a lot better than Facade ended up being. Oh, and I've also gotten Crobat a Poison Barb item. Now, that's an item that you can steal from Arbok. Those are found in, like, the grassy area just outside of Victory Road. They're very rare, though, and <laughs> it ended up being a massive pain to try and steal it from an Arbok, since they very rarely show up. But I'm hoping it'll help out with his, uh, with his Sludge Bomb attack. Anyway, there's only one thing left to do before the Elite Four, and that's to capture the legendary Pokémon Mewtwo. And we can find him here in the Cerulean Cave. Alright, so let's look for Mewtwo. Now this cave is actually quite huge, and there's a lot of different paths you can look for if you have like rock smash and stuff, but I'm only really interested in finding Mewtwo. Any items I find are just like a plus. I'm not going to go out of my way to get them though. Well, I might go a little up. I don't remember the path to Mewtwo at all, so this is mostly going to be a guessing game. Nugget didn't really need that though. Yeah, a lot of these paths lead to dead ends because I don't I don't have anyone with rock smash with me. But that's okay. As long as I find the right path at the end, that's all that matters.
Oh, that just led to the same area. Thankfully, if I remember correctly, we are we shouldn't need Rock Smash to get to Mewtwo himself. It's just a matter of finding the right path. It wasn't that way. We're on our way. Oop, that, that might come in handy, a max revive. Fifty-eight ditto. Don't want to fight you though. There you are, Mewtwo. So, say hello to Mewtwo. And this isn't even gonna... He's not gonna be a problem at all, because we're gonna use the Master Ball. Gotcha! Pokemon whose genetic code was repeatedly recombined for research and turned vicious as a result. So yeah, Mewtwo was actually created from the D from a DNA strand of Mew. And he wasn't exactly too happy about that if you ever saw the the first Pokemon movie. Alright, we got ourselves Mewtwo, so we can now get out of here. Where am I? There's my escape. That's Professor Oak's final analysis on my regular Pokédex. Alright guys, only one thing left to do now that we have Mewtwo. It's time to fly to the... Um, it's time to fly to Indigo Plateau and face the Elite Four once again. Let's rock. 